Finding the angle of the dangle is easier than you think. It just depends on what tool you're using. First off, remember that an angle is the measurement of degrees between two surfaces. For the sake of this video, you can assume that level falls in this topic as well. Take this speed square for example. The angles of these two surfaces are 90 degrees from each other. You can also use the speed square to find angles by placing the tool on its pivot point and rotating off that point. If we need 45 degrees off of this surface, this is what it would look like. In fabrication, you can also use a level. A level surface can be technically considered 0 or 180 degrees depending on what you're doing. It's worth noting that level is a relative term, meaning if something is considered level, it is level compared to another horizontal surface. Where this can become a problem is something like a car. Let's use my R34 as an example. Let's say we just installed coilovers and we want to level the car, but we're doing it in a driveway with an aggressive slope. If we adjust the car to be level on this surface, it's going to have a pretty hard lean when you get the car on a surface that's actually level. For this reason, I prefer the next method of angle measurement. This husky level can do regular level things, but let's say you're working on a slanted surface, but need a zero degree reference point. Well, not only does it display angles, but you can set whatever point you're at to be zero. It also gives an audible beep to let you know you're at zero. So let's say we need to find the angle of these two points, and this first surface isn't level. If we set it to be zero, then when we place the angle finder on the second surface, we'll get a reading of 61.3 degrees. This digital angle finder also lets you set your zero degree wherever you want. These are helpful in finding relative angles like shown here, or on something like a roll cage where maybe you need to find the angle from the B pillar to the roof. You can also invert it, which is helpful. I use this type of angle finder frequently. Now you might remember this one from your elementary school days, the protractor. You can use this to find angles, but in my opinion, it's dated and isn't really versatile, and it's kind of hard to see. You can also use these multi-purpose angle finders, but I don't like these either. In my case, all the numbers send me into an anxious rage and I find myself overthinking which number is correct. Then there's this type of angle finder. I don't use these much either. As you can see, it's telling us that this angle is about 80 degrees, and it would be correct if we needed to find out the angle relative to the floor that is zero. But we still don't know what the angle of these two surfaces is. So to me, it's not very helpful. Last on my list is the cube angle finder, and to be honest, these are my favorite ones out of all angle finders. As you can see, I have a couple. They're my favorite since they're accurate, high visibility, have really strong magnets. And as you would expect from a digital angle finder, you can set your zero point which makes finding angles easy. Where they're really helpful is on roll cages or tube work. They allow you to have the correct roll angle which is super important, especially when you're bending tubes. There's more tools and more ways to find angles, but this is what I have and some of this is what I use. Hope that helps.